Hi, my name is Gisela from the channel Inglés para tu vida. Hello, how are you class? Today we are going to continue developing the topic that is present simple tense. In present simple tense we have been working with more than four videos because it's very important. It's a tense that we normally use and sometimes people have some questions about when to use it, in which cases, what do we need about the verbs and the tenses. So I highly recommend you to check the list of reproduction in the channel Inglés para tu vida where you can see all these videos. Well done! The topic is present simple tense and today I want to check with you when do we use the present simple? When do we use the present simple? Alright. We use the present simple to express facts or general truth. Yes, when it's something that is a generality, something that is historical, a scientific fact, we use the present simple. For example, the sun heats the atmosphere. Yes, that is something scientific, that is something that we know, so we use the present simple tense. Another use, number two, is to talk about habits or routines. That is the most common, no? Everybody knows that. We use that, for example, with expressions like every day, usually, always, right? And here we have other expressions that we use in present simple too. For example, always, every day, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, hardly ever and never, to express a frequency, to express frequency, right? Also, we use the present simple to give instructions, exactly. For example, when we say, open the window, eat vegetables, don't cry, so you can use it in affirmative or in negative form. Other uses of the present simple well, for example, here we have a sentence when we talk about habits. We always watch television to express regularity. We usually cook, or he usually cooks the dinner, right? So it's a habit. To express time schedules, yes. Uh, and sometimes some people say that this is about the future. You can say the bus comes at 1 p.m. The bus comes at 1 p.m. So it's something regularly, but it can also it can also indicate future, future action. Okay? The film, the film starts at 7 p.m. Right? So it, it indicates the time, the schedule, but also a future reference. Okay? So with this use, right, I'm going to tell you some sentences using them. For example, every day you can say Every day I have a shower, for example. Usually, I usually have breakfast in my house. Always, for example, I always walk my dog in the afternoons. Always we said, uh, every day. Mm -hmm. Every day I go to work by taxi. Usually, we usually eat a hamburger at the end of the month, can be a sentence, often. He often reads scientific books. Sometimes, she sometimes wears skirts, can be. Rarely, I rarely eat fish, for example. Hardly ever, mm, she hardly ever goes to concerts. Never. He never goes fishing, for example. Okay? To give instructions, open the window, close the window, open the door, close the door, eat vegetables, don't drink soda, don't drink beer. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, to express time schedules, the bus comes at 1 p.m., the train leaves at 2 o'clock, the plane leaves or departs at 3 p.m., for example. The film starts at 7 p.m., the film finishes at 9 o'clock. So what I recommend you is that you try to use these expressions that we have here in present simple 
and try to send me some sentences if you want, a paragraph if you want, and I can be completely uh, available for you so that you can send me all what you need and what you want in English and I can help you with your paragraphs, with sentences and everything. This is our last video in Present Simple and after that I'm going to show you a, a video where we have the four or five mini videos on this topic in one large video so that you can see all together and put in practice everything that we mentioned in this class. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to your channel Inglés para tu vida. My name is Gisela and see you in our next class. Have an excellent day. Bye.